Hello, and welcome to our HTML and CSS course. We thank you for choosing this course on your journey to becoming a web developer. As the name implies, this course will provide the foundation for becoming a web developer. We're going to be covering basic HTML, that is HTML4. We're going to talk about some HTML5 concepts and we're going to go in depth with cascading style sheets or CSS. The goal of the course is to provide a sufficient amount of knowledge and experience in developing web pages using HTML and CSS to allow us to enter the market as web developers. Now there is no assumption of prior knowledge. This is a basic fundamental course that's going to take us from a keyboard and mouse user to a web developer with HTML and CSS. There are no special tools required for the course. We're going to see in the first demonstration that all of our web development can easily be accomplished using a basic editor and a browser although other tools will be presented, they are not necessary to become an effective web developer. The format of the course is such that we're going to have a discussion where information will be presented and then a demonstration using that information to develop web pages. It's important to follow along with the demonstrations in your own environment. This will solidify your understanding of the information that's been discussed. So what is HTML? Well, HTML is the language of the internet. It was developed long ago by a gentleman named Tim Berners-Lee, actually a physicist, who wrote the very first web page in 1991 and it was put online and is still available online at the address that's provided and ever since 1991 HTML has been evolving it's becoming more capable of doing the things that make web applications exciting and interactive for the users HTML is a language. It's a programming language, a scripting language, a markup language, and it is controlled by a standards body. That standards body for HTML is the Web Hypertext Application Technology Working Group, and they publish the standard. So if you're interested in reading the technical specification for HTML, it is available online. For HTML5 and future versions, the W3C will be publishing the standard. Like any computer language, HTML has a syntax a set of rules that define how the language must be presented to the computer. In this case, how the language is presented to the browser, because it is the browser that interprets our HTML code and presents it to the user. So the first line of any HTML document must define the document type. This tells the browser how it should interpret the code that follows in the file. Everything within our HTML document is enclosed within the HTML tags. Notice the structure of a tag. It's got a less than sign, the name of the tag, which is a keyword. It has a special meaning to the HTML language, and then a greater than sign closing that tag. So the tag is very special to the HTML language because it identifies what is enclosed within the tag. So we open a tag with the name of the tag, that special keyword within the less than greater than signs, and we close that tag with a forward slash followed by the name of the tag. So every tag 
with only a couple exceptions, every tag that is opened must also be closed to create a well-formed HTML document. So in our example of this minimal HTML document, we have the HTML open and close tags. Everything within those tags will be interpreted as HTML by the browser. The next section is the head section, and this contains information that is not displayed to the user, but provides data that can be used by search engines or the browser itself to provide additional information about the HTML page. The next tag is the body tag, and this is where everything that the user is going to see is included. So within our open and close body tag, any HTML code that is included within that section will be displayed to the user. We can have text, we can have images, we can have tables, we can have links, lists, Whatever data or information that we want to provide to the user will be included within the body tag. So in this example, in this minimal HTML document, we have the doc type, which is identifying this file as an HTML file for the browser. We have our HTML open and close tags, which define a section containing all of our HTML code. We have a head section that provides additional information for the browser or search engines to use to identify our page. And then we have the body section, which is the HTML, which will render the page to the user. So anything that we want the user to see will go in the body tag. So let's go look at some code. 